Studies show black Americans are impacted twice as much as white Americans when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. The number of black Americans involved in research and clinical trials is low. Wake Forest School of Medicine is on a mission to diversify research and close the gap. Dr. Goldie Bird is the director of the Maya Angelou Center for Health Equity at Wake Forest School of Medicine. She has spent much of her career researching the genetics of Alzheimer's and African Americans, with a particular emphasis on diversifying research studies and clinical trials. When we think about health equity, one huge component of that is assuring that whenever there is a study done or there is an intervention or there's a cure for certain kinds of diseases or conditions that multiple populations are involved. Dr. Bird says increasing diversity in research is a major step towards closing the gaps in Alzheimer's disease health disparities. The Maya Angelou Center is joining an international study to build a resource that will expand Alzheimer's disease genetic studies in people of African ancestry and Hispanic Latinx groups. The many things that we experience in life or those social determinants of health are, are things that influence our prevalence of getting the disease. So if we are unable to address how we live, the stress, racial uh, strife, discrimination, violence, all of these things contribute to increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Program director Takia Stark says the center will work with other universities and nine African countries to recruit 13,000 people to participate. Being that Alzheimer's disease impacts African Americans twice more often than our Caucasian counterparts, and we don't know specifically why that is, it's important to have a true representation of all groups of people that this disease impacts. This is a five-year initiative. Leaders say the study only requires a blood draw and a cognitive assessment. Those who wish to learn more about how to participate can check out this story on our website. But as they were saying, participation in these trials and these research uh, is so important because, you know, what might affect uh, a drug or some type of cure, how it might impact one population is not going to be the same on how it impacts another. So you really need those numbers and those people to get involved. And we had a, a similar story, same kind of thing. They were reaching out to, to blacks and said we need more people to help us with the same thing, mm -hmm. but with different types of sicknesses. And it's so, like you said, you can't do a control group and a study group yeah. without the right people in place. Mm -hmm. you got you got to make that happen. Of all the things that frustrates me uh, when it comes to medicine and research, and, and diseases, it's that they can't find a cure for Alzheimer's yet. And the only reason I say that is because we have done so many incredible things in so many other fields, I just, I don't understand why it's so hard since it impacts so many people. So many people. I think there's just a lot we don't know about the oh, yeah. disease. Right. There has been a lot of progress. Um, there are two drugs that are out right now that actually help to slow down the progression of the disease in the early stages. So that's been a major breakthrough. But these trials, they are just so important. And the Maya Angelou Center also wants folks to know that they can come to you. You don't necessarily have to go oh, to them. Nice. And they're also getting in the community, putting on forums about uh, education, resources, support that's out there for caregivers, just wanting to really build that trust with the community.